Hi guys, Lucy here from Hunting for George and welcome back to a brand new Let Us In home tour. I thought what better home to show you through than the one that we have spent the last year building and renovating. If you've been following our journey, then you already know we are in Lawn in Victoria along the Great Ocean Road and this is the Beach House. inside, go get your bearings and check out that view. After you. a 1930s weatherboard that has just undergone a massive makeover. We essentially wanted to create a modern coastal retreat and this is our dining room that greets you as soon as you walk through the doors. So I'm going to open these up. So we can look out on that view again. I really wanted to bring curtains into this space and I love that curved track. So we've got four panels of these and they're all free flow. So that way we can just move them around depending on how the sun is coming into this space. So the feature and the hero of this room is undoubtedly the very generous circular dining table with the Lazy Lucy. This has been given a serious workout. We have so many wonderful meals on this table. This is a 10 seater. It's very generous and it's very much the hero. But the other hero in this room, which is very simple and refined is this buffet. So I actually designed this unit to basically maximize and bring in as much storage as possible, which the old home was definitely lacking. So we've got these drawers here with soft clothes. We've got plenty of glassware. We've also got a full dining set there as well. So we've got matching drawers on either side, but over here, just extra storage. I've turned this into a little cheeky bar, cause why not? And then what I also really love most about this room is that we've actually got one of the original slides from 1969. So that shows the house in all of its glory. And I like that that's the first thing that you see as soon as you walk through the door. So the dining room leads us on to the living space. In terms of the interior design, I very much wanted to keep a warm and earthy color palette, but I did want to introduce some color and I have incorporated some green hues. And you can see that through some of the pieces in this space. What I love most though, I love that we kept this. So this is original Lawn Riverstone. So this was existing in the home and we decided to keep this. And we also kept the mantle as well. So this is a beautiful piece of red gum that Jono's Orpha made. And it has a wonderful width to it. And it also has a lot of strength and beautiful place to style as well. So in this space, we have got enough ample seating for seven. We've got a wonderful four seater sofa, the two armchairs plus this occasional chair. And to be honest with you though, it's not just this area because this circular table is so inclusive and so wide, that also doubles as additional seating as well. But not only that, the bar stools in our kitchen. Come on in. So, I love sitting up to this bar. I love this waterfall detail with the stone. And to be honest with you, there is a lot I love about this kitchen. I'm really proud of it, to be honest, because when it came to the design, I was quite nervous because I was designing for Jono's family and I wanted to make sure it was a welcoming interior. So my main focus was to, yes, modernize it, but also give it a lot of charm and a lot of nostalgia. So where to start with what I love? First of all, this tap. I'm gonna show you this tap. Okay, so not your average tap. We've got cold filtered, 
We've got sparkling. We've also got instant boiling water as well. I'm gonna go some sparkling water. So fancy. I love that. Literally drink a lot of sparkling water now. The other thing that I really love in this kitchen is also this oven. So we've opened this up a lot. We've got a very generous sized oven. We actually repurposed this shelf from what was here before. But I also really like this detail with these brushed pure gold towel rails and the fact that we've got these S hooks here. So we've just got additional storage for utensils. It's a much more practical space. And also the other thing that kind of excites me, which is maybe a bit sad, but things like just clever, handy pull-out drawers. And also the same here. So it was all just about maximizing the space before we didn't have a lot of storage. The shelves were very narrow. So things like that have made this a very functional kitchen now. I also really wanted to introduce more bench space. So I love having the addition of this breakfast bar. This gets used a lot actually. And so I really like the fact that we've got additional bench space because essentially it's a small kitchen, but it's really helpful to have this. Come through this cavity slider into the master. Ah, so the master. This was once just one room that led off that um, upper level. So obviously you would have seen a cheeky hint of the ensuite. Uh, but this has a wonderful view as well. It's probably the best view from one of the bedrooms. So these beautiful hardwood timber frames. It's very soft, it's very calm. The color palette upstairs was all about creating a sense of warmth, a sense of softness. And what I most like about this room is this addition of the bench seat. So I was able to customize these robes and I really wanted to have additional seating. I think it's quite important when you're in a bedroom to have somewhere to sit that's not just your bed. So there's more storage and we've also got that hanging rail. I think it just works really well with the mirror backing. It helps to reflect the view. So I like the feeling that this creates in this room. But we'll check out the bathroom. So it's a master. It's not a huge size. However, it's what you do with it, guys. So we have actually fit a lot into this room. Uh, what we wanted to focus on was to create single level living upstairs. So hiding behind this cavity, is a washer dryer combo. So essentially we can now have single level living for the parents, but when you're not using that, you can just hide it away. And the thing with this, because we did squeeze that in, it has made it a bit smaller, but I wanted to make sure that it was as generous as possible. So I fit in a 900 vanity, which was essentially as wide as I could go. I got some pushback on this because it was very hard to get that washer dryer in with this 900, but I like the scale of that. And I think what also helps is this circular mirrored cabinet. It helps to open up the space a lot more. Okay, after you, we're gonna head downstairs. So at the bottom of the stairs, we start to transition slightly into a slightly different energy, come through into probably one of my most favorite rooms in this home. This is the kids retreat. I just absolutely love this room. It is filled with energy. There is so much character. I love these bunk beds. These, I mean, these were all DIY. We made these ourselves, but I really wanted to focus on bringing in energy and color into this space to make it incredibly playful. And to be honest with you, this room was all about maximizing and creating zones. So we've obviously got our sleeping quarters here. We've got a TV unit here and also a sort of a casual living space with play mat for toys. But over here, because this was an old pokey space, this actually used to be a garage. So we're dealing with some pretty low ceiling heights in this space. So I thought I'm gonna embrace the pokiness of it and create a smaller area. So we've actually put in a desk 
We've also put in a cot. So this is both, you know, a study, but also a nursery as well. And for the nursery, it's very handy having this curtain. So you can pull that back to have a slightly darker space. And stepping down, we've got this slightly elevated living room as well. So this not only is a very comfy couch, but it's also a queen sofa bed. So if we do have guest overflow, we can just roll this on out and we've got another queen bed. But otherwise, it's a very comfy couch and I love the green. It's consistent with some of those green notes that we're starting to see throughout the home. Let's open up these doors. Again, that timber hardwood. I love those sliding doors. Leading us onto the lower deck. I like most about this space is that it actually is enclosed. And this is very much, I guess, kind of the messy second entrance. It's far more casual surfboards, you know, hooks for, you know, your beach towels. So if you've got sandy feet, you come in down here, you have yourself an outdoor shower before you head inside. So, lots of doors to open. <laughs> Let's open this one. Welcome to the lower bathroom. I really do like the simplicity in this room. It's got a wonderful tone to it. I really like the softness of the tiles. I love this left aligned vanity. And I love this ceiling mount shower head. If you know me, then you know that I love a very large pimping freestanding bath. This is not that. However, what it lacks in, you know, grandeur, it definitely makes up for in volume. So this was literally the smallest bath is 1.5 meters. And so we've got a 1.5 meter bath, but it's super deep. So I'm definitely in my happy place. I will eventually get to have a house that has a freestanding bath, but for now, I'm very happy with that. So here we have our laundry. So in the old house, we didn't actually have a laundry. There was just literally a washer dryer that was in the bathroom. <laughs> so it is very special to be able to have a dedicated space. In terms of the color palette and the material choice is very consistent. So we've got the same bench top that we had in the kitchen. These tiles are the same that we just saw in the bathroom. And also this brush pure gold as well. All of these hardwares and these fixtures are all the same and consistent throughout. I also love this touch of this towel rail again, which is great for hanging space and also for drying. More cavity sliders. Hiding in here once was the smallest room in the home. To be fair, it still is the smallest room in the home. But what we did in this space was actually open it up a lot. So before this was closed off, so what we've actually done is gone in under the stairs. So we've given this a lot more space. And so this is actually a really functional room now. So I just wanted to maximize this space as much as possible. And also I wanted to bring in some fun and some color as well to make it quite an energetic interior. This room did have its own ensuite originally. So we've just pimped it up. I mean, it's teeny tiny, but it's pimping and I love it. The main challenge with this room, because it was existing and we were retrofitting, we basically just needed to elevate it so that it matched the elegance of all of the new interiors that we're bringing into this space. There's more, come on. Okay. Down the hallway in our new wing, we've got two bedrooms. First, welcome to the green room. So this particular part of the home was all part of this new extension and we have two rooms that are essentially quite similar in terms of their layout, but I wanted to differentiate them in terms of their color palette. So this one is very in much inspired by nature and the bush surrounds. So we have gone with this wonderful green tone. I love so much about this room in terms of these earthy notes. I really love the shelf from this bed and the fact that I've been able to have that to style with. But the artwork's wonderful. The tones are just rich and textural. 
but probably what I like most are these green tiles. I just love this ensuite so, so much. It's got the most wonderful feeling in here. It is so rich and it just really feels part of its environment. It's got some wonderful natural light coming through that window. And we've started to play around. I wanted to add in some different notes. So I've gone heavier with this dark basin and this black butt vanity. So I've tried to sort of change it up a little bit with the interiors in this lower level. It's slightly more textural and it's slightly more energetic. Last room of the house, after you. So the blue room, it is very much all about that view, to be honest. So this is inspired by the ocean. It's got a very large window looking out onto the ocean. And to match, we have got our own blue ensuite. Same layout, everything the same. It's just a very different feeling because of the color of these tiles and the different colors of the towels. So it's interesting just how two very similar en suites do have different feels, but they still are quite cohesive. Okay, time to go back up. Up to you. It's thirsty work. This house is a lot bigger than it used to be. <laughs> we'll head outside. It's probably one of my most favorite spots in the home, if not the favorite. This is the new deck. We've supersized it. It was very narrow and small before. We have got a very generous outdoor dining table, which gets used so much, plus the drinks trolley, always very handy. And the addition of this outdoor kitchen and barbecue was so very important. We use this so much. We do a lot of cooking, a lot of entertaining. So this was incredibly important. And I like the heaviness of that black as well. It's very much a statement piece. The other thing that I really wanted to do out here was to bring in these couches for an additional living space. This is a really beautiful place to sit, even on an overcast day like today or when the sun's out underneath this beautiful umbrella. So that guys, that is the beach house. That has been our project. It has been quite the journey. If you haven't watched our renovation, then do check it out. And if you have been watching, then thank you for following. We hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more home tours coming your way.